so I'm here with Bree Harville. She's a member of the Lower Columbia softball team. Um, I've got the team that just won the South Division. And so, Bree, right off the bat, kind of talk about your experience. And, and here you are, you know, you've won the, the division and moving forward. How's it been for you as a, as a player but also as a team? Um, I think we've all really kind of bonded this year. I think um, at the beginning of the season when we took our team retreat, I think that set the tone. Um, I think that was a big factor in um, having us come together in order to compete the way that we do. Um, I also um, know that like it being my last year, I kind of wanted to go out with a bang. So I've kind of been working my tail end off in the off season and now to get to where I am individually now. And yeah. and speaking of going out with a bang, you right now have a dozen home runs this season, uh, lead the team. So what has been your approach going into each at bat? Is there a certain mindset? Or are you just trying to you know, clear your mind? Or what are you doing when you go up there? I'm kind of just hit the ball. I really just think base hit because that's really what it comes down to. Um, I've never been a power hitter, so it's kind of new to me um, having this big of numbers and home runs. Um, but I'm really liking it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see why you'd be enjoying that. So, you know, speaking of that, what is the most memorable part of the season so far for you? Um, I think how close we've all become. Um, I think the friendships are really what matters. Um, I think it's what you cherish the most other than your stats. I mean, you can't focus too much on those because if they aren't the best, then, I mean, you kind of beat yourself up and that takes you out of the game. So I think being able to cheer on your team and just being there for each other really has been what I'm going to take away the most from this year. You know, and then you know you went to Ari Long, so local local school. Um, school means a lot to me as well. And here at LCC, but you know, even though Ari Long is not a small school, but it's not a huge school. So, what has been the biggest adjustment you've had to make moving up to this level at the college? I well, I know my freshman year I wasn't a starter um, in high school, so I took that kind of a mindset as my approach for this year, as well as not being a starter last year. Just spending my time getting better and looking for the position that's open because of the upperclassmen leaving and taking full advantage of that. And then, you know, to get to this level, it takes a lot of you know, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but it also takes someone pushing you. Who's been your kind of your inspiration and, and motivator behind you? Um, my cousin, Tori, she went to Ari Long. She was a star pitcher um, all throughout her high school, and she kind of motivated me and our great-grandma who passed away in 2011. She's kind of been the backbone and kind of she was my biggest supporter. So um, taking her and keeping her in the back of my mind. And uh, my cousin, she played at North Idaho. So having them as a big competition kind of sets the tone for where we want to be at for our season. Awesome. And then, you know, baseball and softball both are games of routine. You do the same thing over and over. But, you know, also kind of superstitious. Do you have any superstitions or just routines that you do before each game? Um, I always make sure I have the same headband, the same bow, and my hair done the same. Um, and I also... <laughs> Make sure that um, before every bat, I look at a certain spot on my bat. It's like a little um, uh, the numbers for the bat, and then I look at that and just take a deep breath before stepping into the box. That way, I'm relaxed and know that I'm ready to hit, not overthinking. The last question I have for you, you know, you're here at the college level. A lot of girls come watch you who are younger. Obviously, I have two young daughters that, you know, someday might want to play softball at this level. What advice do you have for the younger generation that's coming up? Um, keep pushing forward. Don't let anybody discourage you because you can do whatever you set your mind to. I was an underdog um, in high school, and I've just used that to my advantage um, and proved myself. And I think everybody has the opportunity to do that as well. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.